Let's install Daytona on OVH. First off, head to GitHub and find the installer. It has everything that you need, both the documentation and the code. To start with, you're going to want to find an instance type that has a minimum of four CPUs and 16 gigs of RAM. But chances are, if you want multiple people using this as a test, you're going to want to double that. You're also going to need to open some IP uh, ports, 22 for SSH, 80 and 443 for the web application, and 30,000 for Daytona to SSH to the individual workspaces. You're going to want to use Ubuntu 2204 for your operating system. You're also going to need a domain name. You're Not only do you need a domain, but you need the DNS to go with it. So you're going to want to have a records for domain.com and then also star.domain.com, whatever you're going to end up using. And then have that DNS manager open because you're also going to need to add two text records, which are going to help us set up uh, Let's Encrypt under the box, under the hood, so that you can install TLS certificates without having to do any extra work. You're also going to need that domain name when you go set up the GitHub OAuth app uh, or Bitbucket or GitLab or whatever you're going to end up using. Then head over to OVH. So I'm going to use the public cloud. You could also use the bare metal cloud, whichever you want. Um, I already started an instance just to have it up and running. But just to show you what I did, go to instances and we are going to create an instance. Uh, I ended up using this, um, we're going to compute optimized because we want to have dedicated resources. Uh, and I use the C230. So eight cores and 30 gigs of RAM with a 200 gig SSD. Uh, it's a good one. So we're going to pick that. Whatever region makes sense for you. Uh, this is fine. I'll use Oregon because it's closer. Ubuntu 2204. And make sure your SSH key is there. Uh, let's see. One instance. I'm going to, uh, whatever your instance name you want. You're going to want this on public mode. And hourly or monthly, your choice. I already have one up and running though, so let's go ahead and head over to the terminal and do the install. So the first thing the installer is going to ask you to do is to accept the EULA. You should go read it on your own. If you're using it for your personal use or to try it, great. If you're going to use it for commercial use, call us. Now, once this gets going, you won't actually need to do that much. You'll need to set up the OAuth and the DNS, and then everything else will get taken care of for you. So the first thing it's going to do is prompt you for the domain. And I'm going to use demo-cloud.xyz. I'm going to use GitHub as my OAuth provider. And I've got those secrets here. And this is where the DNS comes in. So here is the top level domain that I'm going to use, demo-cloud.xyz demo and star.demo-cloud.xyz. The star here lets us create all of the workspaces in its own name without having to know the names and advances. Now, the next thing you'll need to do is add these uh, text records. So what these do is let us run Let's Encrypt under the hood for both demo.cloud and the star domain. But you're going to need to set them both up. There's two of them. Every DNS provider is slightly different whether or not they're going to be one um, record or if it's going to be multiple. Uh, I'm using Cloudflare, which lets you do multiple. Route 53 makes you do one with multiple lines within the same entry. Uh, either way, it doesn't actually matter. But what does matter is that these records propagate before you go to the next step. And the way that you can check is to use this tool right here. This toolbox will show you what is getting looked up. 
And so what we're looking for is two records, UN and W6. So there's the UN record and there's the W6 record. So we can proceed. Now, that's it for what you need to do. The rest is gonna happen automatically over the course of the next 12 to 20 minutes. We're gonna install a Kubernetes cluster, we're gonna set up the storage, we're gonna install the application, everything it needs. And at the end of this, you'll have a Daytona instance up and running where you'll be able to go fire off workspaces. But nobody really wants to watch this take the next 12 to 20 minutes, so I'm gonna come back when it's done. All right, we're installed. So let's go back to the web browser and check this out. So if we go to demo.cloud.xyz, we'll get asked to log in with GitHub. We'll go ahead and do that. And now we've got a Daytona instance up and running. There's a bunch of different ways you could test this. You could... Um, start a template, or you can look at, since you logged in with your GitHub account, you can look at your various GitHub repos. I'm gonna use one called Simple Flask. Let's go ahead and create that. What's gonna happen now is we're gonna spin up a Linux environment. And inside of that, it's gonna be everything that we need for that Simple Flask application. Let's go to GitHub and we'll go see what's specified. So here's the dev container for that. We're gonna use uh, an image from Microsoft for Python 3.11, but then we're gonna customize a bunch of things. So uh, we're gonna customize for VS Code because that's the IDE I use. It, that hmm, This is VS Code in the browser or VS Code local. Both of them will pick up these customizations. And we're gonna set a bunch of Python specific settings. What's the interpreter? Are we using linting? What linter? Which formatter? All of that can get set here on a per project basis. And then on top of that, we're also gonna pick what extensions we're gonna use. And then we're gonna do some additional workflow automation. So if you see port 4000, go ahead and open an auto preview for that. And when the environment starts, do the pip install. And when the user attaches, go ahead and start that application on port 5000. So now if we go back here, in just that amount of time, it's up and running. And now we've got our environment. So what just happened was in the last, I don't know, 20 something minutes, we created an OVH VM, installed Daytona, and then launched uh, an environment for Simple Flask, all in probably less time than it would take me to build this Simple Flask environment on a brand new Mac laptop. So uh, that is the easiest way to get started with Daytona on OVH.